Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you are coming across an error connection closed error in your Google Chrome web browser. This should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing we're going to go ahead and do here will be to reset our Google Chrome settings. So just the first thing I would actually suggest before you even do that is try and open up another web browser and see if you're able to access the sites you're having this issue with. So if there's just one particular site that's having the problem, then you'll know if you open up a different browser, then obviously it wasn't a Google Chrome issue. And then also I would suggest restarting your computer anyway. And generally speaking, that does actually resolve a lot of problems just by doing that. So two things I would suggest before proceeding in this tutorial. So if you're still having a problem after attempting those two fixes, I'm going to show you guys another thing we can try here, or a few things we can try, and it would entail opening up the Chrome browser. So I'm just going to give it a moment here to open up. And we're going to select the menu icon near the top right corner of the browser screen, three vertical dotted icon. So we're going to go select that by left clicking on it, and then we're going to go select the settings option. You want to scroll down till you get to advanced and go ahead and select that. And now keep scrolling down to near the bottom underneath reset and cleanup. Restore settings to their original defaults. Go ahead and left click on that. This will reset your start page, new tab page, search engine, and pin tabs. It will also disable all extensions and clear temporary data like cookies. Your bookmarks, history, and safe passwords will not be cleared. Go ahead and select the reset settings button here. And once that is done, go ahead and close out of here. Relaunch the Chrome browser and see if that has resolved the problem. If you're still having an issue, open up the star menu, type in CMD, best match to go back with command prompt. You want to go right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now into this elevated command line window, you want to go type in NETSH space WINSOCK. W I N S O C K space reset space catalog. So again, N E T S H space W I N S O C K space reset space catalog. Exactly as it appears on my screen. You can pause the video if you need to and go ahead and hit enter once you have it as you see it. And you're going to have to restart your computer. So go ahead and just close it here. And we're going to go restart our computer here.
Okay guys, so then I would attempt to go back online and see if that has resolved the problem. So one further thing we can attempt here would be to reset our internet or network settings back to default. So you will have to have your Wi-Fi passcode nearby before you proceed. If you're using an Ethernet connection, you don't have to worry about that. But if you're using a Wi-Fi connection, make sure you have your passcode nearby. Again, if you're still having a problem, and we just would open up the start menu, type in network reset. Best match, I'll come back with network reset here. Go ahead and just left click on that. So network reset, this will remove, then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Go ahead and select the reset now button. It's gonna give you one final prompt. Are you sure you wanna reset your network settings? Go ahead and select yes. So now you will have to go ahead and restart your computer. It will automatically be shut down in five minutes or less if you don't do it manually. So we're just gonna close out of here. Again, you wanna go restart your computer. And then once you restart your computer, attempt to access whatever web page you're having the problem with before. And hopefully your settings have gone back to normal and you're able to browse as you normally would. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.